Mr. Smith initially presented with complaints of frequent pain, possibly caused by years of trauma to the elbow, knee, and shoulder. His pain presented mostly in the joint areas, but was interacting and affecting much of his life, including his relationships with family and friends, as well as causing him to use substances to self-medicate. Upon his initial assessment, a treatment plan was put in place for Mr. Smith. While there was no initial evidence that Mr. Smith was abusing opioid medications, his tendency toward misusing other substances does place him at a higher risk. Because of that, opioid treatment as an intervention was not the first approach, though it could have provided a short-term fix. Instead, Mr. Smith was provided with a holistic approach, similar to the interdisciplinary program. A schedule of physical and occupational therapy sessions was created for him, as well as monthly appointments with the clinic to undergo a psychotherapeutic approach to his current situation as well, especially since he also reported an influence on the in relationships in his life caused by his pain experience. The goal is for Mr. Smith to attend physical and occupational therapy sessions one time per week and the monthly psychotherapy appointments for a total of six months. After that, another assessment will be completed to determine outcomes and identify need for further treatment or future approach. During his psychotherapy sessions with a licensed social worker, Mr. Smith is responsible for reporting his current functioning. Each session begins with addressing this through the use of a comparative pain scale, allowing him to identify how badly the pain is that day on a scale of 1 to 10. Once that is done, the social worker is able to take a non-combative, unassuming approach, allowing Mr. Smith to direct the conversation, asking how his pain has hindered his life over the previous weeks. Over the course of the six-month treatment, Mr. Smith's moods were varied. Some days he was very willing to communicate and express himself, whereas others he was more reserved and less able to identify how his pain is actually impacting the relationships that he has and other aspects of his life. During one of his final sessions, the social worker, with his permission, invited Mr. Smith's wife to attend the session. During this particular session, they discussed the progress that had been made over the previous months, as well as educated his wife on the remaining road to recovery that Mr. Smith would be on. At the end of his time in treatment, Mr. Smith was still in pain. He decided to take the advice of the therapist, however, and make small adjustments to his lifestyle, including his current exercise regime. This was a big improvement because it was something that Mr. Smith did not want to consider in the past. Instead of putting so much strain on his body through the use of a physically demanding exercise like weightlifting, he started to use a more resistance-focused approach by doing body weight exercises and using a swimming pool to complete his daily cardio. This compromise was something that he and his wife had worked on together, also benefiting their relationship despite the continued pain that Mr. Smith was feeling. However, based on the self-reports, the pain that he did experience had become less sharp, more of a dull sensation and something manageable that he no longer felt the need to use substances to manage. After six months, his recommendation was to continue with physical therapy sessions on more of a bi-weekly basis, though he was no longer encouraged to attend the psychotherapy sessions unless he was interested in doing so. Mr. Smith did ultimately decide to discontinue the psychotherapy sessions, but did begin incorporating a regular chiropractic care into his monthly routine. While opioid medication could have and still can help Mr. Smith to cope with the pain that he feels on a consistent basis, because of his past tendencies towards substance abuse, it is not an advisable intervention strategy for him. Even though the behavioral intervention that worked for Mr. Smith did require the use of multiple physicians, because they used an integrative approach for him and for his care, he was able to seamlessly coordinate this care between all providers, allowing more efficient, positive outcomes, and both physical and psychological care was able to happen simultaneously. Mr. Smith is still at an increased risk for substance abuse in the future, and especially for a predisposition to more chronic pain as he gets older. However, the goal is that the strategies he learned throughout the interdisciplinary approach will stay with him and allow him to live a functional and healthy life with the family and friends that love and support him. Thank you.